bed. Just got back from running something very sweaty, but I chose the film Happy Gilmore. It is a sports and it is a comedy. It was released February 16th, 1996. The film company is Universal Pictures, Imagine Entertainment, and Brillstein Entertainment Partners. The producer is Robert Simmons and Brad Gray. The director is Dennis Dugan. The screenplay writer is Adam Sandler and Tim Hare. Lily, maybe? Cinematographer is Arthur Albert. Primary actors and actresses was Adam Sandler and Julie Bowen. The cost to produce the film was $10 million, and the money generated since was $41.2 million. So, the name of the film's main characters was Happy Gilmore and Virginia Bennett. Setting of film was British Columbia. The plot is a young man had a dream of being a professional hockey player since he was a child. However, that changed when he discovered a hidden talent for the game of golf. However, when his beloved grandmother is about to lose her home, he finds himself in a golf tournament trying to win money to get back, to get back her home. Primary theme is to take chances and not be scared to try new things because you might find a passion in things you never thought you would. The symbols are... His anger issues were always a very big symbol. He had lost a lot and been through very much. He had lost his grandfather and he played hockey. But in hockey, he had very bad anger issues and threw fits and tantrums and threw a lot of things. So, um, the love for his grandmother was also a very big symbol because he dedicates himself to the game of golf, even though that's not what he wants to do in order to save her home. The dialogue, Happy Gilmore... He talks very childish most of the time. He kind of acts more like a child on a lower level than what he actually is supposed to. He also yells a lot because of his temper, temperament issues. But the Happy Gilmore, as far as costumes and everything, he's always dressed very casually. Always in like jeans and a t-shirt, boots. Happy wears, of course, the uniform for hockey. And he even dresses very casually for golfing but the older men that try to help him discover like the game of golf and help him to grow in the aspect of the game of golf dress very nicely they dress in polos and khakis as most golfers do they usually dress very nicely the sets are important because it goes back and forth from the hockey you know arena where he's practicing and he throws his fits and everything to the golf course where he's trying to win. It shows him walking his grandmother into her old house, that kind of thing. Camera shots are many back and forth shots because it includes some action, like as far as like the golfing. Like there's a scene when he first hits golf ball and he hits it really, really, really far, and it's kind of like um, it doesn't look realistic at all. It doesn't even closely look realistic but um like it goes from showing the golf ball being hit and like flying in the air to back to him and everybody's reaction just kind of give it that depth perception kind of thing um there are also many close-ups like before he hits a golf ball it shows a close-up of the golf ball itself that really helps so um like when you're watching him or when people are watching him, like when the people, the older men that try to help him get better at it are watching him, it looks like you are one of them. You can see over their shoulder. Um, the sound, this is a um, comedy, so it's al almost always very happy and upbeat. Just like most comedies are. Um, Tuesday's Gone is played by Leonard Skinner. Is played at the end because as he is walking her into it, his, like, his grandmother's home, as he's walking her into it, like I told you before, it is a very, like, touching moment, and, you know, it's saying all this is done with, it's gone, and he, um, it's after he saved her home, he did win the money. The lighting is always natural, because most of the film does take place outside, so. Um, the added information, Happy Gilmore was based on a real person, I'm not sure who, but it says it was. There were two cameos from two pro golfers in the movie. And it was co-written by Adam Sandler's college roommate. So, it's a great movie.